Alright guys, let's see what the light goal for this video is. Oh, that was the biggest fail I have ever seen in my entire life. And that didn't even kill me. And I can't wait so we can break about the hit me if I seem a little unimpressed with this an antisocial person. What's going on guys, Drive here, I got a brand new video here today and welcome to the first episode of the gunfight series for Black Ops Cold War. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but for some reason Treyarch did not add gunfight into custom match until a couple months after the game came out, but it's it's been out for a little bit and I'm finally doing an episode today. So today's episode is going to be the game show map. So let me show you guys all the secrets and line of sights that this map has to offer. For some reason I was like editing this mode to make it where I have my own custom class but for some reason it did not let me do that so unfortunately I do not have my custom class. Uh, but we're just going to walk around the map here and I'll show you guys all the stuff that I find interesting when it comes to the uh, secrets and line of sights. And I do apologize if you already know some of this stuff. Like I said before, th these maps are really small so there's not really much to show off but I'll just show off whatever I can and I uh, hope you guys find them interesting. So here we are, let's get right into the video here, starting off with secrets first, and uh, the first secret is actually right here, uh, bo both of these um, sides are very symmetrical, so what you can do on one side is what you can do on the other, but I just wanted to point out that you can jump over this wall, it looks pretty high up, but you can definitely mantle over it. Here's an easter egg right here, it says what do the numbers mean, that's the game show theme or title, um, but that's a th reference to the uh, what do the numbers mean Mason from Black Ops 1. What the heck, I can't see my own reflection again. I can see my flashlight though. That's so weird. Here in this room, there's just like a bunch of pictures as you can see, like there's the, uh, can I zoom in here? Kinda, you can see pictures of dogs and other real life pictures. We got cats right here, pictures of kids and dogs and more dogs and a bunch of other stuff here as you can see. Um, but I'm pretty sure that all of these pictures that you see that are real, I'm pretty sure these are pictures from the Treyarch employees. Like some of the employees posted some of these pictures in the game here, which is pretty nice. Can I see my reflection? No? Uh, oh, we got a magazine right here. Oh, this is the uh, Black Ops 4 map. Uh, that I don't know the name of. Because I remember seeing this, because I did the series back in Black Ops 4, that's where I originally started. And I remember looking on some of the maps and they had like a magazine on like a chair or a table and it would be open like this and I remember seeing this image. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little Easter egg that this exact magazine was also in Black Ops 4 and they just added it into this game. I remember the map name it's Seaside. That's uh, this map right here. We got this poster, Knifewood 2, some kind of movie, says he brought a knife to a gunfight. Uh, is that a reference to gunfight the map? or I don't know, but I see what you did there. I also wanted to point this out, a lot of people don't know you can do this. Uh, if you come up to the spinning wheel right here, you can actually melee it, and it'll move right here, as you can see. And it'll land on whatever it lands on. Oh, these foods right here look pretty good, not gonna lie. I also did want to point out, you can actually jump on top of these things. I don't know if you knew that you can do that, but you can definitely do that. And with that being said, those are all the secrets that I know, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's move on to line of sights next. And uh, like I said before, there's not really that many line of sights on this map or just in any gunfight map in general. Let's get right into it. Uh, starting off with the first one, which is, I believe, in this area right here. You can actually get this nice little head glitch right here, as you can see. Look into the uh, part of the main stage area. And this map is symmetrical, so what you can do on one side is what you can do on the other. I also want to point this out. You can actually lay down uh, right here or if you're here and uh, see this as a nice little line of sight as well. And like I said before, this map is symmetrical, so what you can do on one side is what you can do on the other, as you can see here. Or you can jump on top of this and uh, also get somewhat of a good line of sight, or you can just stand right here, this is good too. Or even if you stand back here, you can get a good line of sight looking through this over here as well. Again, there's not really that many line of sights that are good, so I do apologize for these line of sights. Uh, or even if you stand on this car right here, you can shoot through the uh, glass, get a nice little line of sight looking through the uh, the map right here, as you can see. This looks pretty nice. Gets a little bit dizzy, though. <laughs> and with that being said, those are all the line of sights that I know, so if you guys enjoyed that, I do apologize again if you already knew some of those spots that I showed off, but 
like I said before, it's, these gunfight maps don't really have much to offer, but this series is just a little uh, side series that I like to do. It's fun to go over these maps, so um, yeah, that's going to be it for Line of Sight. So let's go into theater mode next, and let's just take a look uh, in theater mode and see what we can find around this map here. Alright guys, here we are in theater mode, and uh, let's just take a look around and let's see what we can find. Uh, there's not really much to look at in these uh, gunfight maps here, but we'll take a look around. Maybe we can find some cool stuff here. Am I allowed to go outside? Yes, I am. Wow. Okay. Well, there's the uh, gun show map. Oh, we got some buildings. Why is there buildings here? You're not going to see this. I, this is very interesting looking. Ooh, a, a Nuketown. A brighter future for all. Oh, wow. That's pretty neat. Get some trees and buildings. More buildings. Oh, we got an image on the back. Coming soon, the official watch of the Apollo 13 crew. Huh. We got the uh, rest of the map here, as you can see. We got Grave Hill. Is this the uh, same building as the buried map? One of the buildings? This looks like it. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing in the inside. We got uh, the sound stage area. What is it? Oh, can I go inside? Oh. Just leads to nothing. All right. All right. Well, there's not really much to see outside of the map here We pretty much explored all this. So let's uh, can I go in here? No, can I No, you can't see anything here um, Can you I'm just very curious. Can you actually see that nuketown sign from oh you kind of can interesting um, Let's go inside the map here. Let's see if we can find anything else. What is this on air? little control room. Can I go inside the control room? Oh, I can. Heck yeah. You can see the map here. Oh, that looks really strange looking. Whoa, is this what the map used to look like? Oh, that is really cool. It's what it used to look like, and then as time went on, they added like that part, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then all this. Oh, that looks really sick. That looks really cool, actually. Um, what else do we have in here? We got this symbol right here. What else do we have? We got some times Interesting interesting. It's very cool to see this from uh, this perspective um, But let's take a look around here. Can I see anything else? I don't think there is anything else to show off We pretty much explored the entire map and that's expected with these uh, gunfight maps here They're pretty small and there's really not much to see other than the things I already shown so now that we can zoom in here, let's see what this says. Anything interesting? No. Just new movie posters. What is this? Oh, we got some Russian text here. Interesting. DG Royal. I would say let's get a bird's eye view, but there's really not much to these maps when it comes to the bird's eye view. I mean, other than this, uh, that's what it looks like. So there's not really much going below the map here. It's very easy to do on this map, but, but there's not really much to see from below it, as you can see here. But yeah, I think that's going to be That's pretty cool. This map was uh, one of the interesting ones. I hope the other ones are like this. Yeah, I already looked through everything. This map was definitely interesting to look at, but um, yeah, that's going to be it for theater mode. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, like I said before many times, it, this series is meant to be a, light, a nice little fun side series that I do, um, and I just go over all the gunfight maps. There's not really much to it. These maps are very small, but this is something fun that I like to do, and I, I didn't start the series until last year with the uh, Modern Warfare, so. But I do enjoy doing this. I like going over these gunfight maps, but um, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, so that's going to be it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out everyone come on what do i get what do i get what do i get what do you mean spin again come on what do i get what do i get what do i get what do i get come on yeah Tripping balls there.